We're Lance and Christy. Join us as we build our dream. Welcome to Knight's Helm Farms. Today, something really exciting arrived at the gate. We ordered it a few days ago and it wasn't supposed to be here for two more days. And so, of course, I can't wait. I'm a hot mess. I had a whole bunch of other things on my plate to do today, but I was sitting inside and I was thinking, you know what? I really wanna go out there and build this. So, I opened the box to get the instructions so that I could tell what tools I needed or whatever, you know, like what didn't come with it. And when you know, the, the instruction manual was on the very bottom. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So the package is all torn up. All of the pieces are already all out. And I'm gonna start building it. I probably won't get it done today. I have to go do chores here pretty soon and I just got done with some stuff in the house. And I've got the dogs out here with me, so they can't be out here for all that long. Um, Luckily, it's a beautiful day, like temperature-wise. It's in the low 70s, and the sun's starting to set. That's another reason why I probably won't get it done today, but <clears throat> I'm gonna put you on super speed after I turn the camera around and show you what it actually is. This came out of this box, which, like I said, I totally had to take everything apart in order to find the instruction manual. All of those pieces, apparently, will be a small mobile chicken coop. Now what we have been talking about doing for a very long time is we have a lot of extra roosters and we thought maybe they could be on our tilling and scratching and fertilizing crew. So we've been talking, gosh, maybe like a year and a half of building a mobile chicken coop. There's all kinds of tra uh, chicken tractor designs and plans that you can get and one thing and another. And what it all boiled down to was, we don't have the time because <laughs> we're busy doing other things, first of all. Secondly, every time we would see one that was already done, like a kit, the price was ridiculous. And the other day, just on a whim, I searched Amazon and I found out that they actually have them in there. This was uh, like $235, $239, somewhere around it, right around in there. And it's supposed to hold, I think they said 10 to 12 chickens, but we have five extra roosters that we're gonna put in it. So they'll, they'll be fine. There is a nesting box, but I think I'm gonna convert it so that that becomes more like a storage area rather than nesting because roosters don't lay eggs. And that way, if we ever do put a hen in there, we'll have the nesting box that we can give her. So, um, it says two people can build this in an hour and a half. I'm thinking I'll probably give it 45 minutes to an hour and maybe finish it tomorrow or the next day. I got some editing I have to do to get a couple more videos up, but um, we'll see. So I'm put you on super speed and we'll get it started. Arthur's here to give us his opinion. <laughs> yeah, wow, everything's always wow, wow. So this is the BCP or best choice product 
SKY5800 chicken coop with wheels. And I usually save a manual and all the extra hardware when I get something like this. And that way, if I need something, I have it. First, um, first impressions. Let me take the camera with me. First impressions are because we are not a suburban backyard chicken. Yeah, we're not suburban, aren't we? I think there's a few places on here where we're gonna have to do a little bit more um, like reinforcement. This kind of concerns me a little. <laughs> I like the idea because then there, it's, it's gonna keep rain out. It'll also keep them warm in the winter. But I think what I'm gonna do is put some hardware cloth over the top of this so that that makes this a little bit less likely to be jumped through, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, I really liked all of the design, the way they have the handle so that you can maneuver this around and it, I mean, you can pop a pretty good wheelie with it really if you wanted to. The one thing that I'm not happy about is, well, and the, 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 the ramp, they have it on a little peg too, so you can move it without hitting the ramp on something. There is no door there. So I will probably do something in the way of putting a door there. That way at nighttime we can leave, close the door on them, then move the coop and open the door so we don't have any escapees. The roofing, at, at my first thought was that we were gonna have to, um, you know, replace the roofing with actual roofing panels, but I really like the way it's made. I don't see that that's gonna have to be redone right away. It's really cute. It's made like a big bird cage. So you have the tray for easy cleanup. Just slides in and out. And then the nesting boxes are back here. There's a latch where you can put a, a padlock on it even, and a, a divider. But I, I think I'm gonna put something in here just to close it off since it's only gonna be roosters initially. And then that way they're not going to the bathroom in there. The other thing is these boards down here are just set in there. They're not screwed down. And so I'm gonna put some screws in there because if something were to come, they could, it could just pop up. And let's see. Yeah, see this has a little latch on it so that you can put a padlock on it if you wanted to. I'll probably just put a carabiner on it. Backside looks really nice. It's really a cute little chicken coop. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take it out and um, I guess these are just for like condensation. I'm gonna take it out and put it in the backyard, let it air out because it really does smell like stain. So we'll let the we'll let it off gas for a while before we actually use it but it's really cute i'm really pleased with it and it was very easy it took me under an hour to build one one person under an hour so their estimates were for people who don't build things i guess i don't know very um very easy to follow instructions too so that's that <laughs>